So today we are going to learn dual axis charts. In tab view, if there is a combination of the two different mark types or the charts such as bar and line, bar and bar, and bar and dip shapes. So in tab view, we have to design those charts using the dual axis. So let's see how we can design the different dual axis charts. So let's first see bar in bar. The first chart has a bar in bar. So there is a same charts which is bar and bar. Let's see how we can differentiate that. So one we differentiate using the subcategories. So let's take the subcategories and click here says and for the second value we will be taking here profit. So here we have two different charts and let's say if we wanted to combine these two charts we have to select the dual axis chart so this dual axis options will be only available with the second measurable field not with the first one if you go and click here you won't find it here dual axis so it will always be available on the second measurable fields so click on here dual axis chart so here this axis is representing a sales value you can see the difference is Access we can is defined here and here it is defined as a profit value. So this axis is again the different value. So here we will take it as a bar graph and for sales mark types we will make it as a uh, the same size or you can increase the size okay vice versa or if you go to this profit section profit mark type decrease the, the sales size so decrease the profit size and now so somewhere you are seeing here this bar is going up above as the sales bars are as the sales bars are the orange one so let me just give the different color as well so that uh, For sales, let me take it this. For profit, let me take it this. Okay. So now you can see here the sales x sales bars are going. So here, what we can do, we can right click on the profit axis and synchronize the axis so that both axes will remain the same yes so now we can hide this profit axis as we both axis remain the same okay so we can easily identify it this is the sales value and this is the profit values right so this is how you can define the bar in bar bar and lines so again we have the same subcategories so again we have the subcategory as a categorical informations which we are plotting here and then we have sales and profit so previously how we have done this just right click on the second measurable value click here dual axis and make it this make it the sales as a bar graph i wanted to see and profit I wanted to plot as a line chart. Okay, so again the both are remain the same. So we can synchronize this axis again. Yeah, and if you want, you can increase the the size as well, the line size as well. Okay, and right click and hide this. So this is how you can create bar and line chart using the dual axis. Then there is bar and shapes. So let's consider here the different categorical information, which is subcategory, sales. Okay, so here instead of the different value, we will consider the same measurable field and drag it beside of this. Press the control button and drag it here. And now make it this as a dual axis. And here make it this, the first one make it 
as a bar graph. Second one, you make it as a saves. So in the saves, you have the different options which you can take it here. Okay. So why we are not able to see this circle on top? Because this axis, even though it is the same sales values, but this is taking the different axis and right side is taking the different axis. So let me synchronize this first. So first synchronize this, okay, and hide this one side. And now the bar, decrease the bar size, right? So now this has become a candle chart. Okay, so it depends what kind of values you are taking, I mean different shapes you are taking. Okay, so this is how you can also define the different colors as well. Okay, so this is how you can define the bar and shapes. Then there is another one which is another the bar graph and the Gantt chart. So let's take it here categorical information which is the subcategories and then we are taking here the bar graphs. Okay. So here we are trying to see subcategorical information based on the region. Okay. So let's say here we have one scenario if I show the mark type we got it this mark, mark type and we are having the different distribution values but let's see if i wanted to see the aggregated value on top of uh, let's say accessories so for this categorical information if i wanted to see what is the aggregated value of sales so we will not be able to get it here so what we can do it we can consider this and Make it this as a dual axis. So first you have to take it here, bar chart. The second one you have to take it, remove the region. This you take it as a Gantt bar. Okay, and again you have to synchronize. So now you can able to see you have the aggregated value out here. So if you want to Identify you can just increase a little bit and it will show you the details related to that. Okay, so this is how you can do and you can change the color combinations if you want it. Okay, so this is how we can define the bar and the grand chart. Then there is line and the shapes. So let's say here we again we have the subcategorical information and based on the sales, but this we wanted to see in the line chart. But what I wanted, what business wanted is to be this circle should appear on every pointers. Yeah, so Take the same measurable field and make it this dual axis. Synchronize this axis and hide this axis. So remove, uncheck, so header. And here for the second field, take it this at the circle. So now you can get it here line and the shapes. So this shapes either circle or shapes. So these shapes you can change it from here. It can be a diamond or a rectangle or yeah. So from here you can change the different shapes. Even though you can change the different shapes from here also. Okay. So this is how you can change the different shapes.
Yeah, so this is how you can get it. Your colors. Then there is map and shapes. So as we are already aware of the geographical data, that you can automatically get it. Right? So we have two options. One option is so we have two options. One is with the field map and another one is with the symbol map. Right? So let's say if we wanted to combine these two charts together, at a time you can only showcase one value or one chart. At a time you can only showcase one chart. So what we can do, we can Achieve the both the charts based on the dual axis. So here just press the control button and drag the latitude beside of the latitude. Make it this as the dual axis. So now you have here this is one dual axis, this is another dual axis. So this, so second one, select here circle. Okay, and just increase the size. Of the circles and if you want you can define or uh, let me just drag here instead of sales I will drag the profit okay so this will be having and the same field you drag it into the size so based on the size also it will define so based on the size also it will define So this is one. Let me also change this chart's color so that everything looks same and uh, familiar. I will just take it this chart. Yeah. And in the same place, let's say if we wanted to distribute this, okay, based on based on the different categories, okay based on the different so let me again duplicate this instead of set i will make it this as a pie chart so here you need to select here pie chart and then let's say if we are distributing that based on the category just drag it here into the color section so we can able to see what is the distributions on the different category on this particular state Okay, in this state, this is the product category distribution. Okay, with the with the size we can identify. If you wanted to remove from the size, you can just remove this details from the size. So it will remain the same, but the information it will plot that is related to the profit. But if it is having the size, this will give you more insights about the categories how they are performing in the different states so thank you guys that's it for today